So this question starts off like it looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question, which just means I'm going to read it and translate any quantitative information. Uh, translate word problem questions are typically four or more lines long. So, you know, just looking at this briefly without reading anything, it seems to qualify for that. But let's read it and see if any other strategies kind of sneak in here in this one partic in particular. So the question says the graph of a line in the xy plane passes through the point with coordinates 6, 2 and crosses the x-axis at the point with coordinates 10, 0. So I'm going to use a strategy I call plug-in picture. All right, so plug-in picture strategy just says anytime you have a question that describes something that can be drawn, it's better that you draw it than to, than to like envision it or to imagine it. So I'm going to draw my graph. Be very careful about my graph. You know, I'm not concerned too much about the lines being exactly straight, but I want to do the best I can. I'm not too concerned with um, my units down here being equidistant completely because I can't ever get that, but... I'm going to do the best I can, right? So when I graph this 6, 2, right, that's 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm just trying my best to make sure that, you know, this actually looks like they'd be equidistant on a real graph. So that's 6, and then 1, 2, so I'm here, and then 10, 0, so that'd be 7, 8, 9, 10. And since it's 0, that means it's actually on the x-axis. So it goes on to say the line crosses the y-axis. So let's just kind of see where this line goes. So it should be like that. It's not perfectly straight, but it's close enough. It looks like it's going to cross at 4, right? So if I didn't have time, I would actually do it this way and just say, you know what, that looks like it's crossing exactly at 4, given the amount of effort that I put into making these uh, distances as equidistant as possible. But let's say I did have more time. If the question is asking me for the value of B, and I, it's telling me that B is the Y coordinate, right? So the Y intercept, I'm gonna say, hey, you told me that I have six comma two and that I have 10 comma zero. I'm dealing with the line, so I'm gonna use Y equals MX plus B, right? Uh, the slope is the, dis the difference in Y values, so these two, so let's say zero minus two, over the difference in X values, so 10 minus six which gets me negative two over four, which is negative one half. So that's what M is equal to. So I can say Y equals negative one half X plus B, but I can use one of these ordered pairs. In fact, I'll use this one to figure out what else I have. So in this case, it's telling me that, you know, Y is zero when X is 10 plus B, right? So I'm just replacing X with 10 from here replacing y with 0 from there. Negative 1 half times 10 is negative 5, so this turns into 0 equals negative 5 plus b. And therefore, if I add 5 to both sides, I end up with b equals 5, and therefore this point right here is 5, and you can see that I would have missed this if I didn't have time to actually figure that out. Um, but I was super close, right? But close is not good enough on the SAT. So Hopefully you see exactly how I got to this answer here. The y-intercept is, in fact, 5.